time I come to Paris, something very strange happens. I start talking with this uh, French accent, I put on a beret, and I fall into this deep philosophical mode. I think, therefore, I am, as Descartes used to say, common sense is not so common, Voltaire. I prefer the reflection of life than life itself. Three, four, my friend. But the one that inspired me the most must definitely be, I am long and crunchy, but soft on the inside. And it was said by no other than Monsieur Le Baguette. French live to eat. Cuisine is their religion. They take it very seriously, some might say even a bit too seriously. They have a speciality store for just about everything. Boulangerie, pâtisserie, charcuterie, uh, fromagerie, and I'm sure there are a few more riz I don't even know about. These riz are actually the French street food. They are the staples of everyday life in Paris. I have just 24 hours to discover it. We're going deep. It's early in the morning here in Paris. Now I'm sure that the next big thing in TV has got to be smell. Because if you could smell what I'm smelling now, you just have to jump out of your chairs and right straight to the nearest boulangerie. But it's not any boulangerie, as you can see by the line that's standing outside. It's one of the best baguettes in Paris. Hello, Boris. Nice to meet you, I'm Ishai. Nice to meet you. And I am very excited to be here. Do you think I could uh, maybe come around? Yeah, sure. I don't know if it's the right size, it should be good. Oh, it's with a, with a, with a ribbon and everything. Yes, that's a French flag, because um, I won a contest uh, which called the Meilleur Ouvrier de France, uh -huh. which, which means best worker of France. So this is real formal stuff. Yes, it's formal. This is no it's, joke. Uh, this is the state has decided that we are the best workers in France, so beware. Let's see. Ah. One of us mm -hmm. is a fake. Yes. Let's see if you can guess who. Who's okay. the real baker? And who's the, the fraud? So we start. Okay. Um, the baguette is, uh, is from the, the last war, the last uh, the, the World War. The war. Second World War. So what, you, what you're actually saying is that the baguette has only been around for around 60 years or so. Yes, it's even younger than the Eiffel Tower. You see? So this machine allows us to divide it uh -huh. in 20 pieces. Wow! Right? Did you see that? So we put this here. Now what? You take the bread in front of you uh -huh. and you will have to, to, to press a little bit and do this, this movement. I will show you the one. Okay. You see it? Okay, I'm making my first baguette here. Doing the motion, you have to use also the yeah. body? You have to make it roll, you see? Ah, okay. It has to roll on your hand. Yes, we're doing the baguette. The baguette okay. boogie. Now, what would be the criterion for a perfect baguette? Uh, the size is between 50 and 60 centimeters. It's very ambitious. Wow. Uh, yes. yes, okay, all right. The size does matter then. Yes, for the Parisian, yes. Yes. All right. Back to you. Let's go. To the oven. Ah, into the furnace. All right, do you think it's ready now? Yes, I think so. Okay, great. Cool. Here we go. All right. Where's mine? Mm. Warm. My first baguette. Oh, my little baguette. Oh, it's so beautiful and cute and sweet. Well, okay, let's taste it then. Yes. Okay. Good. Here you go, my friend. Thank you. And for me. And I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, it was welcome. a pleasure. It was a pleasure also for and, me. Uh, 
Vive la baguette. <rire> Thank you. Cheers. Vive la baguette. Quintessential part of the French diet is, of course, cheese. You cannot have a baguette without the cheese. That would be like having tea without a biscuit, or salad without a dressing, or summer with no sun, or... Well, I think you got the point. Well, in France, they have 350 different types of cheese. That means that they have a different cheese for almost every day in the year. It's unbelievable. How is it that they eat so much cheese and fat, and yet they're so slim and beautiful and sexy? Oh my God, what a smell. You know it's not strong. It don't smell bad. Yeah. No, I mean... You know, the camembert, camembert, Yes? Is the fit of God. I see. So the smell is is it, is God's feet odor. Uh, yes. Oh, that's oh, a nice way to look at it. <laughs> okay. I wonder what makes cheese good. To, to make a good cheese, mm -hmm. the animal has to have a good nutrition. Okay. That's the first condition. And after, with a good milk, it's a tour de main. Tour de main. Tour de main. The, the twist of the hand. Voilà. Ah. That's right. And after, a good affinage. Affinage is to mature the cheese. Okay? Oh, you look. want to test something? Yes, I'm done. With your I'm dying. baguette? With my baguette? With yes. my palette? Yes. I take it off now. Ah, oh, it's better. Yes. Do you like camembert? Do you want some wine? I'd love some wine. Allez. Mm. Mm. Very, very, wow, it's great. What about the... Um, it's blue. It's blue cheese is there. Yes. When you, when we make Roquefort, because mm -hmm. it's Roquefort, it's you milk. You know what is you? You? You. You. No. Me. No. Me no. milk? You milk. You. You. A w, you. You. It's uh, you milk. No. It's the woman of the sheep. So the Roquefort is from... You, you milk. milk. You? Right, so we taste this? Yes, go okay. on. Okay. Very good. Go on. Mm. Wow. It's like um, somebody's dancing in my belly now. Wow. You grew up in this cheese environment. Yes. yes. And uh, what, since you were little? Since we were little? Look, come and see. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't change. No, you're just the same. Well, you got a bit taller. Is that your father? Yes. Oh, wait, could you stand? There? Yes. Let me see. It is your father, by John. Yeah. You don't want to, to taste something very, very strong? I do. Hey, hello. Of course I do. Uh, very, very particular. I'm, I'm up to it. So if cheese is God's feet, then this would be God's feet after a long day's walk. Take, uh, take just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. All right. I'm a bit scared. You, you scared no, me. Babe, Hold my okay. hand. I don't know if I can oh. stand with this. I'm, you know, oh. give, give me your hand. Ali. No, no, Ali. no. Here, here, right. Ali. Ali. Go. Go. You sure? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to. Go. All right. I'm okay. <laughs> with the oh. French word. I'm bisou. Mm -hmm. huh? Bisou. Oh, bisou. <laughs> Thank you. The longest street in Paris is 13 kilometers long. In fact, it's not a street at all, but a river. Talking, of course, about La Seine. Ah. Merci. Merci. Nothing like a good boat ride to build up an appetite. Well, it's lunchtime and I'm obviously looking for the ultimate Parisian street food dish. Now, if I've learned anything in my life, 
It's that no matter how good the food might be, it will always taste better if you share it with a good old friend. Particularly if this friend just happens to be an expert on food and wrote over 50 books about French cuisine. Gilles! Ah, ouais, comment ça va? Hey. Hey. Mon ami! I'm so yeah, happy. These, these guys were like oh. American tourists with the what? beret. Uh, no! Never, nobody, nobody in France wear the beret. Uh, it's, it's really? Very no, I thought I was you know. being authentic. Well, I'll, I'll take this no. off now. Ah, yeah, no, better like that, no. yeah, better like Maybe that. get rid of it. Okay, yeah. First thing, tell me, why, why did you choose this place? Because this is a real place in Paris, you know. In Paris, you eat on the, we what? say, le zinc. Le, le zinc. Uh, on the zinc. Le comptoir, voilà. When I spoke to you, I told you that I want you to take me to some real street food. I mean, and street food doesn't exist, you know, in Paris. This is street food. What? This is our food, you know. What? The street food, it means simple things, but Absolutely. wonderful. That's what, Nothing that's complicated. Exactly what it means. Yeah, exactly. But you then what why? Like, but we're not in the like. streets here. Yeah, the street is just here. I know. This is, but, this is the food, this is the street. Good food is when the, the thing and the taste of what they are. That's that's very clever. I, I agree with that. I'm very French. I'm very French to that. But th this is this is a bistro, right? That's yeah, a bistro. Bistro. It's uh -huh. the Russian name. I mean, yeah. speed, 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 fast, fast. You know. Okay. And though you can eat quickly, you know, yeah. if you want, just uh, so let's a piece eat. of uh, piece of meat, right. piece of cheese, piece of bread. Thank you once again, Stefan. So what, what do we have here? Chopped liver, terrine, ham, uh, white ham from Paris, and riet. Parisian ham is going down. Sur les pas d'yves montants, sur les pas d'yves montants. Oh, so nice, beautiful. You know, when I see this food, I remember why I'm so happy that you're my friend. I must say, this is one of the highest class Sweet food I've had. Paris. Paris. Hello. Hello. I saw outside a sign that says uh, 1730. What does that mean? Cette maison a été créée en 1730 euh, par un pâtissier qui était le pâtissier du roi Louis XV et qui est euh, le pâtissier qui a inventé le baba au rhum. Les décors ont été créés en 1860 euh, par un, un décorateur, un peintre, un artiste qui est celui qui a fait les décors du grand foyer de l'Opéra de Paris. Oh, it's only now I know so she's, she's carrying what's on the tray there. Alors cette femme elle illustre deux gâteaux emblématiques dans notre maison. Il y a le baba au rhum et le puits d'amour. What is puits d'amour? Le puits d'amour, voilà, c'est pour oh. it's for you. This is for me. Yes. Gosh, I'm a lucky chap, aren't I? My first puits d'amour. Ce gâteau était un gâteau préféré de Louis XV parce que ça avait une connotation un peu coquine. C'était un gâteau qui était un petit peu considéré comme un gâteau galant à cette époque. A biscuit of love. You like? Oh. I'm falling in love. Oh my God. <laughs> well, you know, I'm into street food. And I was wondering what would be the most popular dessert where people can just, you know, take and, and be on their way. Alors, le plus populaire, c'est l'éclair au chocolat. Uh -huh. What does that mean, éclair? Éclair parce que il se mange en un éclair, comme l'éclair dans l'air. Ah, ok. Et les Français, en moyenne, consomment 2 millions d'éclairs en France par jour. 2 million of these are consumed a day in France alone. That's unbelievable. Let's see what this is all about. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. Now I want to understand one thing. Why are desserts so identified with the French people? Parce que euh, toute la base de la pâtisserie que nous avons encore aujourd'hui au 21e siècle repose sur toutes les recettes qui ont été inventées au 18e siècle. The baba au rhum. Baba au rhum, oui. Which is your specialty? Yes, of course. Could I see? Is this rum? Yes. Oh, so it's swimming in rum. It's a tough job. But somebody's got to do it. And I'm here for you. I'm doing this for you, not for me. Right, here we go. Um, 
<laughs> Which way do I it's attack? It's difficult. Mm. Mm. This is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> If we bring this Avec une cuillère, c'est plus facile. First date and here, Amour, I brought you a Z and she starts to... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Amour, Amour, I love you. Thank you. It's a bit dumb. Parole, parole, parole. Parole, parole. What was I thinking? Of course, seafood is actually a synonym to French cuisine. And obviously, it'll be out here in the streets. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Do you think I could come around and you'll show oh, me yeah. some, of course. some stuff? Please. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's the most popular uh, dish? Dish? First, oysters. Oysters? Okay. And how do you serve them? It's always raw. Uh-huh. Okay. I show you? Yes, you show me. And where do I go in? Just here. Just here. Okay. Okay. Slowly here. Yeah? You... Okay. It's working. I'm in. It's working. I'm in. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. You have to cut the mouth. It's open. Oh, okay. Uh, this way. Uh. There you go. Well, yes! That's well, good. Wow! Yeah. Oh, I dropped a bit, yeah. but oh, that was orgasmic, <laughs> I must say. Right! Yes, like that. Damn good. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Is there a way to do a takeaway of this? Of course. Bon appétit. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Merci to you. Au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. Au revoir. All right. This is the ultimate gourmet Parisian street food. We are here in the heart of the artist quarter known as the Sacré Cœur. Now, uh, usually this is a very touristic area, but uh, actually quite quiet and serene. But today, however, It's very different. Is that festive music I hear? Yes, it is. Of course, we are going to check it out. So what are we celebrating then? That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Inspiring, I must say. I'll have what he's having. How much do I owe you then? Eight. Eight. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, where's that from then? Where'd you get that? Uh, here. Here? Yeah. This is escargot? Yes. All right. Hello. Hello. I would like a portion of your best escargot. It's your first time yes, you. yes. It's my first snail. What you need is we, we a toothpick just, and a snail. Your, your pick is a meat. Uh huh. Up, you take it away. Okay, wow. Looks really easy when you and do after, it. And after, you can drink the juice in the shell. <laughs> and then you drink the little snail. Wow. Okay. You pick the little snail. Okay. And you just eat it. All right, here we go. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. Now I'm going to drink you. Mmm. And then you can listen to the sea.
Well, it's two o'clock in the morning. And as you can see, Paris is still hustling and bustling. Now, if you still have a much that you really can't get rid of, then the ultimate Parisian street food that everybody knows about is definitely the crepe. Hello. Hello, man. How are you tonight? Very well, and you? I'm, I'm very good. Yeah. Uh, I've been waiting all day to have my night's crepe. Yes. So I'll have a sweet one then. Yeah, which one? What's your speciality? Chocolate banana is good. Ah, oh, that sounds perfect. Do Jump. you think I could come inside and see how you make it? Yes. Okay, perfect. You make yours. Okay, so what do I do? I put, take this thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. More? No, no, with that. Oh, you I'm can with that. Oh, okay. So. It's your first lesson. Yes. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly. Not nervous. Yes. It's not dangerous. But crap you eat in the streets yes, all anyway, year. Any day. And you, would it be also a kind of, do you eat it all day or just at night? Or? No, we begin at 11 and we finish at 12 the night. Which nationality you are? You're not generous. You have to put oh, more. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well then, you know what they say: jazz is Paris, and Paris is jazz. Yeah. And Paris is crap. So I guess we have it all here in one night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>